just to start off, I'm going to say thank you guys for subscribing, liking the video, if you did like the video, and um, just, you know, for coming back for more, even though I only publish every, like, eight years, just because, like, you know, I have a lot of schoolwork to do and etc. So, today, I'm going to be telling you guys how to make tycoons. So, my last video where I told you guys how to make tycoons, it was pretty much a fail. I hardly explained anything. All I explained was how to move things around in tycoons, etc. with the plugin F3X, which is right over there. So, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to not use that plugin today, but, you know, how to just use your regular uh, Roblox Studio and how to make a tycoon. So, as you see, I've made a tycoon like this. This is for Zednov. I have to, you know, finish it. But we're going to be starting off all brand new on here. So, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a, pretty much a tycoon like this. It's going to be nice, simple. Not going to be, like, all extraordinary, like, that or the droppers, like, or, you know, just etc. stuff. So, we're just going to be making a nice, simple tycoon. I'll teach you guys how to add stuff in, etc. It's going to probably take probably like one two three four five videos but um instead of you're dragging along let's just get right into it right so just start off before we even start if you do not by the end of the tutorial if you do not understand anything i suggest going to check off uh check out zednov's channel he also has a tutorial on making tycoons and i would suggest watching him then because he also explains it like pretty thorough all right so here's what we're gonna do first we're going to open up our toolbox and how to open up the explorer the toolbox and the properties you come to view right here and you will see explorer properties toolbox i have command bar out because i do uh coding which also you would need output for right here that's for coding but um we don't really need the command bar all right now that we have all that set up all this we're going to be going into our toolbox and checking out Zednov's, or I'm just going to type in Zednov, and I'm pretty sure his Tycoon Kit will pop up right here. This link for the Tycoon Kit will also be in the description of the video, just so you can get it, and once you get it, all you have to do is just go to, what, I have to, oh, right here, models, and my models, which it will then be probably up at the top, but I have a whole bunch of models and stuff right here. Alright, so gonna head back to models. And now that we have this, we pretty much do not need a toolbox anymore unless that you want to add in stuff from the toolbox, which I will show you how to do that in a uh, next video probably. So we go to our properties. Once we click the group on the right side on the explorer or wherever you have the explorer, on the explorer, as you can see it says ungroup me. All you have to do is just right click it and click ungroup or control U. Now we will have about, I don't know, five things in our workspace, except for the terrain, which would also count as six. All we have to do is just delete the thumbnail camera and delete the delete me. Now we will be left with these four things, terrain, camera, Zednov, Tycoon kit, and base plate. The terrain we will not be messing with. We are going to be messing with these two, or pretty much this one right here in general, unless you want to mess with the base plate. So we open that up and we see all these settings. We really don't have to mess with anything. Right here, the README is a text tutorial on how to use it, but this is pretty much gonna be a video tutorial on how to make a tycoon. So when I first make a tycoon, I immediately say, this is way too small to make a tycoon. Tycoons are huge, all right? But before we get into that, we can mess with the settings. I can explain all this to you first. All right, so the sounds. So whenever you purchase something, it will make a sound like a dating. If you collect something, it will make a, a sound like a cha-ching or whatever. And if you get an error, it will make like a puff sound, like a air, like dust. Now here, auto assign teams. If you want a player to choose their own tycoon, so if, you know they can have a tycoon right next to their friends or something, you keep it on false. If you type this and you click true with no capital, it will automatically spawn them on a tycoon. They don't get to choose where. The currency name. The currency name is cash. If you don't want it to be cash, let's say you were doing a mining tycoon and you want it to be how much ores you have, instead of cash, you say ores. 
buttons fade out. If you ever go in Tycoons and you want to get a button and you see how it fades out very slowly and fades back in, you keep that on true. If you don't, you turn it to false, it automatically disappears and another one somewhere else reappears. Okay, and the fade out time is just how long it takes to fade out, how long it takes to fade in. Now the deleted word settings. Do you want to show how many people, like uh, how many times the person got knocked out or killed? Or actually no, uh, how many times the person killed someone, which is knockouts. And then if you do, what do you want to be called? So let's say, um, how do you, how would we explain this? So pretty much if it like it was like a boxing tycoon and you turn your like it shows how many kills you got is true. All you have to do is just say knockouts and how many times that or a person knocked someone out. Oops. All right. Anyway, and then if you want to say how many deaths they got, you can turn the wipeouts on. Now show currency. This will show how much money people have. So if you go into Tycoons and on the leaderboard it says you have five million with a whole bunch of zeros at the end, you can show people that's how much money you got. But if you want it to not say five zero 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 zero, this is the short currency, which it would put five M or a hundred K, like as examples here. Alright. And now the steel settings. If you ever played that one uh, the Rebel Tycoon or the uh, Wild Wild West, whatever, and you can steal money bags. This is sort of like that. This is where people if break into your tycoon and go to where you collect money, and they will steal uh, 0.25 or 0.25 of your money, and they can only do that every minute. So let's say you had two million, they will steal about like one fourth of that or one fifth or how much ever that is I don't want to do math so that's pretty much all in the settings so that's explained done so now that we have all that explained we can also you know go into the dev core bank manage board all that but we'll save that for another video that's for you know adding uh how do you say or how do you explain it um adding game passes so we're going to go straight into the tycoon part now. I'm not going to get that much done because this video is already dragging on enough with the settings. So we're just first going to we're going to uh, expand this. So we go into the tycoons and we go into the fighting bears. You can also change the name of it if you want. Let's say I want the team to be how to make whoops, how to make yeah, uh, tycoon. I can't spell. All right, so let's say I want the team to be that, and then it'll be that. But we'll just have it as a heavenly warfare, like my other one. So we open our tycoon up, and we see all these things. So, just to quickly go over everything. Currency to collect, drop color, <laughs> uh, material, and owner. We pretty much don't really mess with this one and this one, but these two you can mess with all you want. The drop color. If you uh, we, if we start the tycoon... It will, the drops will be gray and they just go over here. But let's say we were doing a mining tycoon and you wanted all the ore to be coal. So you can just change the color to smoky or black and it'll drop black. But we'll just keep it as fossil. Alright, and then for the, what was I? Uh, material. If you don't want to be plastic, you can type it in and make it be like a uh, fabric. And you have to spell it exactly correct if you want to know all the all the materials I have to do is just like just alt tab or alt that and you can see plastic fabric foil granite grass you know all this and it has to be capitalized all right so now if you want to know how I just did that click that one button Oops. you want to know how I just click that one button right here as you see if I click it it just clicks the whole tycoon but if you want to click one certain thing, which is very useful, which if you go into F3X, if you are using F3X, but we're not going to be, this is a plugin. I taught you guys how to take plugins in my other video. All you have to do is just click this, and you can automatically pick which part of something you want. But if you're not using that, and you want to just click this, all I have to do is just hold the Alt on your keyboard, 
and you can select it like it was a three rings. Alright, so we're going to be going into our purchases and we can see all these things. Alright, also for our buttons, we see all the things. We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, up, I think that's 12, 3, 6, 9, 11, alright, whatever. But, uh, yeah, they, they should be uh, at least the same because everything you buy has to be a button, so it spawns pretty much. Alright, so let's say we wanted to, hmm, let's say we want to add another dropper here, right? We go into purchases, right here, we click dropper 1. We go control C, whoops, we go control C on our keyboard, oh my gosh, <laughs> gonna get me mad. Alright, control C on our keyboard. And control V. It will spawn another one, but this time it's outside of our model. It spawns its own model. When adding onto things like droppers, we have dropper one, dropper two, and the minor. We can delete this if we want. It doesn't have to be there. But dropper one and dropper two. So to continue on with the family, it's dropper three. This is where it to spawn. Let's say we said dropper one still and we forgot to change the name. And we this probably would either not spawn or or it will spawn two of them when we buy dropper one. Or it won't spawn, both of them won't spawn at all because they just get confusing. So we open this up. And we open up the dropper script. This in the dropper script, script, we can see how long between our drops want to be. So let's say it was a really overpowered dropper and we want to drop every 10 seconds. But down here, we want the cache to be like 900 million thousand, right? That is something we can do, and that's just how you change the settings of the dropper. And now for it to spawn in, right? So we put the dropper where we want. Let's say we want it right here. And we want it to spawn in here. Like, that's where we want it. We are completely certain that's where we want it, right? So we come down here, and we take the dropper, we drag it all the way down to purchases. And then it will automatically organize itself to being the third dropper. But as you see, we don't have a button for it. That's not good. So close the purchases and we go to buttons. Look for dropper one. Copy, paste. We take the button. We put it exactly where we want it to be. See, I want it. Yeah, we just keep it right there. And we obviously would change the name by dropper three. Now, the button has a lot more. Uh, oh, I wouldn't say a lot more, but has different customizations than the dropper first of all we get to choose the money so we just go on 70 150 we'll just say 210 that's how much the third dropper is but to it actually to be 210 dollars we go into price and we change it to 210 now whenever we want to buy the dropper it will be 210 but here's where this is very important when making a tycoon. The dependency and the object. Obviously our object is dropper 3, not dropper 1. So we will change that. Okay, good. Now the dependency. What is it going to depend on? The mine? If it depends on the mine, that means we can buy this immediately as soon as we get this thing. But we don't want that. We want to buy this when we get this dropper. So we change the dependency to dropper three or two so now how it will go after we put this into the buttons because so you know it spawns in it's pretty much considered as a as part of the tycoon now how it will go is we'll just actually start it up and this will be the end of the video for now then i will teach you how to customize things and you know we'll just go on with making our own tycoon right now we're just starting off with the basics so we spawn in we go get our tycoon claim the tycoon this is our tycoon now you can't have it all right we begin working so you know we have the mine boop 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 but as you see before we even start playing our dropper one dropper two and dropper three aren't here or the upgrader why is that because we have the dependency set so dropper two only spawns when dropper one is bought dropper three only spawns when dropper two is bought and the upgrader spawns when dropper one is bought very confusing if you want you can slow the video down to uh, understand what I just said so we're gonna keep clicking until we about have 70 or something and we're gonna go check our cash we have 
30. Okay, I thought we'd have a lot more. <laughs> so, it's gonna keep going. Yeah, I I'm not gonna go through the whole tycoon. I'm just gonna show you the, uh, showing you that it works. Maybe I'll lower the price so we can see us getting the other ones. Alright, there you go. 72, and boom. Dropper 1 is here. As you saw, these two buttons faded in when we bought Dropper 1. And the button faded out, but the two buttons now faded in. And I see Dropper 2 only spawns when Dropper 1 is bought. Dropper 3 only spawns when Dropper 2 is bought. And the upgrader spawns, I'm guessing, when Dropper, or, yeah, when Dropper 2 is uh, bought then. So, after all that, we can stop. And, as you see, you have a working tycoon. But in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to, uh, pretty much, hmm, how would you say, uh, how to customize it, alright, make it bigger, and stuff like that. So, we actually have a pretty, you know, good size tycoon, we have some weapons, you know, stuff like that, stuff that tycoons need, alright. So, thank you guys for watching the video, if you did like, please like, subscribe, it helps a lot, and I promise I will stop trying to make a video every I don't know three four months <laughs> trying to make it weekly or daily now because you know we I, I miss you guys you guys have a lot of questions I've said I'd make a video on it I haven't made a video on it that's pretty much making empty promises but I will make videos again I will start making videos again and um yeah so this time to make a tycoon I said I'd show you how to make it and here it goes with the series so as I said before like if you like subscribe if you uh, if you want to see more and <laughs>